Hello and welcome back to the channel on a lovely sunny warm day. The skies are blue and that's I think because we had a lot of rain yesterday and it's cleared the smog which has been blighting <laughs> Pattaya, Thailand and apparently most of Southeast Asia. Right, it's uh, not quite two o'clock so the girls just uh, setting up getting ready, having a bite to eat before we open at 2 p.m. On the, it's actually St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Pat's to anyone uh, Irish or Irish descent. Enjoy your day. Now, I said I was gonna talk about the bar a little, a little bit. We're gonna be doing some changes very, very soon. We're going to put in a, a seat across here to create a sort of like a separate section here, like that. Move the TVs down a bit and move this table here over to here and utilize the curtains and things like that. So just give it a real sort of gentleman's club vibe. And also we're gonna try and fix our pricing for certain things that involve ST. <laughs> I think I can say that. So that'll be a fixed price for everything, 1500. Anyway, enjoy the episode which today takes us down Soy Lenki. I'll do a, a walk in the morning and then I'll do a run on the motorbike when it's dark and open. Thank you. Hello everybody. It's very early in the morning. Not even seven o'clock. I'm on Soy Chai Poom outside the dive bar and I'm going to take you for a walk down Chai Poom very quickly and then show you some stuff about Soy Lenki. As I said in the last episode, which by the way, 30,000 people watched it, are you mad? <laughs> but thank you. I've answered some questions, um, but as many as I could. I'll go through it again today. But the thing is, when you sort of answer some questions on YouTube, the, the, the new questions and the answers come back in a funny order. So I'm working out how to work my way through that. While I'm on Chai Poom, let's show you. So Sluts is still uh, under construction. They've been banging away in there. Next door, another new one there, look, Emily Bar, that's opened up now. See, <laughs> things don't uh, take long to change on this, this soil or anywhere else for that matter, I can tell you. But, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Blimey, they're up nice and early, that's nice to see. So yeah, I'm gonna take you down here, round the corner, down Soy Lanky and show you what's, uh, what's new down there. On this soy again, look that one there, beyond. That's the new, uh, the new bar that was. It changes so fast. Country Road, Country Rock that was called. That's changed already. And they've got another one that beyond on soy honey. So someone's buying up a few bars there. I was told that was the people from Ban Chang, but uh, not confirmed. Onward we go a bit more. And I'll show you up on the left hand side here. Let's go. That was the Cheeky Monkey Bar. She's vanished and in, in very quick time it's become Let's Go Bar. And I'll show you, they've done a nice bit of sort of woodwork and I like the fact they put the bar at the front. Obviously it's closed now but you can see sort of bar at the front there and then the customers can sit around the bar although they might have a bit of opposition from those plants. So possibly not the best layout, but <laughs> anyway, this is Thailand, right? Yes, so what's it going on with the girls? I said last week, I thought the uh, an adjustment was coming, and you know what, I think it started already. This last week has been visibly quieter, and I mean that, visibly quieter with customers. Uh, dive bar's gone down a bit, which is, uh, I wouldn't say it's a massive concern yet, but, you know, is it a blip or is this how it's going to be now for the rest of the sort of so-called low season? Time will tell, but again, I think girls are now getting, getting to realise that these sort of massive salaries they've been getting and daily rates are going to come to an end. And in fact, I've spoken to sort of actually five different girls I know who are what I guess you'd call kind of go-go standard girls who are getting paid the big bucks at the moment. And they all said the same thing. Yeah, we know, we know the salary's gonna come down, but uh, for now, we're gonna keep taking it, and who can blame them? So yeah, the town is a changing at the moment. Look at this one. Now, do you remember Bling? That didn't last long, did it? We're on Soy Bacow now. There was a bit of a uh, 
they were unfortunate in as, in as much that the late night opening didn't come that they were hoping for. And the consequence of that was that the owners had a, well, the, the, the partners in the ownership of the, the, the business had a, uh, I'll say a falling out, I suppose. And the guys that remain are gonna make it into a more Thai style club. But that is not, doesn't mean to say it's for Thai people only, of course not. It's gonna have Thai bands and they're thinking, which is probably good thinking, is that get the Thai women coming to watch the Thai bands and the, uh, the guys follow, which is, you know, pretty normal, pretty, pretty time served and time tested formula. So here we are on the corner. There's Soy Diana. There's Mekon and the cheap Charlie bar there where you get your long beers, cheap. And here we go, turning into Soy Lenky. Now, first thing you see, mini bar. They do well, just tiny as you can see, just seats outside here, but they get a good group of people there every night and obviously do food as well. As you can see, burgers. But let's talk about burgers, shall we? Because this is Hunger Pangs, which is the sister of Kung's. Kung's always busy, fantastic breakfast, but constantly evolving the menu. And it, it, yeah, always busy. Just just very, very, very popular, particularly for breakfast. But back to hunger pangs. So, very recently I finished work and I was so hungry. And I'm not a burger guy, I'm not. But I thought I'd try one. And I'll show you what I tried. Burger. It was a double, it's their, it's their signature burger basically. A double burger, bacon, barbecue, bits and pieces. And I got some chips. I think all up it was 250. Got it home, and I, I can't lie, it was the best burger I've ever had. I'm not just saying that. It was. While I was waiting for my burger though, I popped in here. Whoop. You see that? Hug me guest house. And uh, there was a guy I knew sitting in there, and he tells me he's living upstairs. He's had some brilliant nights in there. Rooms are cheap, loves it. So again, a little diamond in the rough, you wouldn't know. And look at the price, of course. There it is, 60 Thai baht, all day and all night. Wow, you know, and I'll tell you what else, that's not cheap anymore because you can now get beers for 50 baht, 49 baht, you know, 45 baht if you shop around. It's getting ridiculous, it, it's a race to the bottom. And you may well ask the question, how do they do it? Well, I'm not so sure. Going around again, another massage. That shop there, motorbike shop. They sell crash helmets if you need to crash helmet. And more little shops along here. Astro Bar. That's a nice little bar. Again, all these bars will have girls in. But as I've said before, it's so much hit and miss nowadays you know you can go to the sort of bars that are well known and established whether they're bars or go-go's or nightclubs and you kind of know what you're going to get but with these smaller bars you know you could walk in there you grab your one beer nothing really takes your fancy not getting that feeling and you move on or you could go in them and end up having the best time ever it's very very much hit and miss and a lot of it you know is determined by how you're feeling Devonshire, good food, restaurant there, Red Bull Bar. Again, just going over the road. Again, I'll do this in one, one hit. <laughs> of course, accommodation is huge on this soy. This one here, OP to place, been going for years. And loads more, look, I won't go through them all, but there's guest houses everywhere. Prices are ranging, you know, you can get them cheap. I would always suggest if you're going for a monthly stay, negotiate, you know, talk to them, ask them what you can get. Now we've got the guest house here, Shanghai guest house. That is uh, open upstairs, apparently very, very nice. I know people have stayed there. But downstairs, look now, Paris is love. Sacre bleu, okay. That was Pecorina or something. It opened just before COVID, never got open properly. So sorry for them. But this one is open, looks nice as are these restaurants here. You see you've got Dre's food and drink there, but then the American Bar and Grill, 
which is again I've mentioned before, but I'll mention it again. This Chinese buffet they do. Can you? Oh, I'll get closer again. Chinese buffet. Look, all you can eat every Friday. Very popular, and you can get a crispy duck with it for a bit more money, 500 baht. But these are proper restaurants. These are not you know, cheapies. These are good ones. Smoking Joe's Steakhouse. Again, great alternative to a steakhouse. Uh, if you know you've got Patrick's and Beefies are down on. Sorry, honey. But sorry, sorry, Diana. But uh, that's good, just as good. And Flame. Finally, finally, it looks like it's about to open. This one has been <laughs> started building, stopping building for, for, for the last two two years plus. But look, it looks nice, doesn't it? Flame. I wonder if they're going to live forever. Anyway, Mally House. Good restaurant. They run golf out there as well, as does Travel Lodge, which I'll come to in a second. Other little bars along here. I mean, look, this this saw is not as busy at night as other ones. But all these bars will have girls, and again, it's what you make of it. Dentist there, and this Happiness Beer Bar. That's okay now. It's been open a while. They've got a few people in there. And that's the Traveller's Rest, very well known uh, golf bar. They do big tours out of there. And they even, list, you know, they even tell you where they're going. All these places will be within sort of like, you know, 40 minutes up to two, even three hours away from town, but they lay on the coach for you. It's all very professionally done. So along here, more massages. More bars guest houses look that one's empty at the moment I wonder if someone will take that soon and down this soy here lots and lots of uh, rooms guest houses and stuff like that availability this is getting uh, better now these places were all booked up to the high season but they're getting more vacancies now of course as people go and of course there is sports world Sports bar, more Euro European, North European sport. All beers, 12 till six, eight, 60 bar. Round this way, the famous La Poste Gentlemen's Club. <laughs> you know what goes on in there? That is an, one of the oldest ones, well run. The girls, they range in age and quality. <laughs> Can I say that? Yes. And again, each to their own, isn't it? But it is what it, it says. Look, Min Bar, that, that's new. I haven't even noticed that one before. Must be open. And over this side again, what was original Retox Bar is now a Thai restaurant. And it's quite busy. When I go past there, it's quite, quite busy, quite nice. A good pizza place. You just about see it. USA Pizza. Outlaw Pizza. They deliver. They're good. And we've got Jackie Leland, another suspect cigarette shop. Round here again. Look, strap of land there. So that was shipping containers and a pizza place. That's. Uh, Still empty, but I, I suspect someone eventually will get hold of that and make something nice there. Another couple of bars, Frang Bar, Funny Girl Bar, another cigarette-ish shop. And we're almost at the third road. So it's quite a quick walk. I'll keep plodding along and then I'll go left and show you the top of Soy Chai Poom to show you how close it is. So here's third road. Oh, there's something that surprised me actually. The Boxing Roo, that one there, the yellow sign in the middle of your screen. Now, I saw that open again the other day. It hasn't been shut for a very, very long time. You can actually see they've left the lights on. <laughs> so, they are open. And another little bar there, two lady hustlers. Oi, think you got me. Here's a little DIY shop. I say little, it's big, got everything in there. Quickly press along. I'll get a sorry, chai poo. 
So yeah, as I said guys, it's a little bit quieter this week. Um, I'm hoping it's a blip, but I will keep you informed most weeks. And what I'll do in a minute, I'm gonna run that same route that I'm just doing now at night time on the motorbike to show you the whole thing lit up so you can get more of a feel of what's going on at night time. So there we go, turn the corner, back into Chaipum again. And you'll see, you'll see a dog and you'll see the den sign there. Good morning, hello. <laughs> That's my friend, the dog, that one. And uh, we're back where we started. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that walk around and see what's going on on Soy Lenki. Lots of restaurants, a few bars, options. It's a nice, nice Soy. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Okay, we're off on the nighttime run with Beer Beer. Let's go, Beer Beer. <laughs> so, first of all, just heading down Chayapur. Oh my god, I think beer might have had a couple of glasses of wine. <laughs> but you'll notice they have actually repaired the road a little bit. Yeah, party time, party time. So you can see there's people about tonight. It's about nine o'clock, Friday night. There's a bit of new road. Look. See how long that lasts. Good job, beer, beer, going along nicely. <laughs> so this is Soy Chai Pim, obviously. We're gonna go left on Soy Bacal, same as this morning, and uh, show you how it looks with the lights on. Oh, party in there, Green Lantern. We've gone for the Irish thing. The Irish theme, of course, St. Patrick's Day. And uh, of course, as always, busy, busy, Triangle Bar. Some girls knocking around, lovely. Okay, left, side. <laughs> side. Side. for left, side. Boss bar over there, yeah, got a few in there, that's nice to see. Alright, now we're into Chaos Junction. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. again okay right so picking up from this morning there's mini bar as I explained a few people sitting outside there having a nice drink Kung's over there yeah, yeah still a few in for supper and I'll focus mostly to the left here and show you some of these bars there's Astro bar we saw this morning Red Bull bar Let's see how the restaurants are going. Nine o'clock, so it's probably just past peak time, but well, that one's fairly quiet now. Let's see how the American Bar and Grill is doing. Oh, not many, a few, oh, there's a few in there. So yeah, look, you know, not full, but a few people having dinner. Maybe we're a bit too late and missed the, uh, the peak time for dining. Last of ours. As I explained, not, not as busy. Oh, there you go. Traveller's Rest. Look at that. Ramo. Obviously, I've had some. That'll be a golf function with a band on. So, as I said this morning, so much hit and miss. So, a bit faster, baby. Faster? Yeah, yeah. As I said this morning, you know, so hit and miss. You can go in a bar one night. Absolute. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Woohoo! Crazy. And the next time you go in there, it's empty. So you have to sort of just, you know, take a punt, really. Okay, so we're gonna hit third row, go left. There's Boxing Room I showed you. It's open, this looks pretty quiet, but again, it could change in a minute. So here we go, a long third road, a dangerous road, and left again, back onto Soy Chayapun. So there we go, how about that? I'll quickly show you these bars, <laughs> good work bit. Got Lisa bar, a few in there. Now the den, oh no girls outside, that is a good sign. And uh, Maggie Mays, 
Yeah, you see, less girls outside means more people inside, which is a good, good sign. There you go, guys, the nighttime run. Soy Lenky. Thanks for watching.